Hey guys, it's Sam, and today I'm doing the book adaptation wish list tag. This tag was created by Monica of She Might Be Monica, and I was not tagged by anybody, but I saw it on Lauren of Reads and Daydreams channel. The first category is movie, and I've talked about this before numerous, numerous times, but this is going to be The Night Circus by Aaron Morgenstern. And I would love for this to be a Baz Luhrmann movie, and Baz Luhrmann is the director that did the 90s, I think it was 90s, Romeo and Juliet with Leonardo DiCaprio, and he did Moulin Rouge, and he did The Newest Great Gatsby. That aesthetic is what I think will work beautifully for this, and I want it so bad. Like, I think that this will eventually become a movie, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, but I just want him to direct it. Like, it would be so good. It'd be so good. I, I want it so bad. I, I want it so bad. I can't even talk about it. That would be an amazing film. Oh my god. Number two is a TV series. And that would have to be the Grisha trilogy, or actually all of the books in the Grishaverse by Leigh Bardugo. I just think that world in general would be amazing on a TV show. And typically speaking, TV shows tend to venture away from the main storyline a little bit. And I would love to see even more stuff in that world. TV shows is my favorite kind of adaptation. I just think that you have more of a chance to do stuff with it. And that you can even take it farther than they can the book. And it's just... It's the best way to adapt things, personally, in my opinion. The third category is cartoon. And for this, I was actually thinking more of an anime. And for this, I think the Mistborn trilogy by Brandon Sanderson would make a wonderful anime. I'm torn because on one hand, I do picture these characters as like actual real life human beings. But on the other hand, I think the world and the things that they encounter and the action sequences would be like beautiful in anime. Like the weapons that they use and the way the magic works. I think all of that would make an excellent anime. And like the clothing, like I'm just, I'm seeing it now, is anime. Like even the themes are like anime-esque kind of with a lot of the stuff that goes on in here. I just think it would translate really well to that medium. Number four is graphic novel or comic. And I think The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet by Becky Chambers would make an excellent graphic novel or comic. I think it's a very visual book. And especially because there are like alien races and just like space in general makes really good comics and like good graphic novels in my opinion. So I think that all the things you get to see and all the different races you get to see and all like the different colors and stuff they're talked about in this book I think would be really beautiful in a graphic novel form. The next category is a play and I think the Raven Boys with Maggie Steve Outer make an excellent play even though obviously it'd have to be like multiple plays. I don't really know how that would work. I'm not a big like play person but I think this would really work well with that because it is such like a subtle series and it has like subtle magic that I think could actually work really well in a play kind of form because you wouldn't obviously have like CGI and like special effects and stuff. So I think it would work well. And since that the kind of magic and the kind of like fantasy that this is, is a lot more contemporary, it would work well. And just like, I think the creepiness of it would be best shown in a play form because you feel like when you're reading these books, you're so immersed in it and having it in a play and even having like stuff happening in the audience, like having people come up through the audience and stuff, I think would work really well. And just it'd be creepy and it'd be good. And since it is contemporary, it just works really well for that. So yeah, I think it would work. And you'd have really like creepy music in the background. It'd just be perfect. And the last category is musical. And that one is arguably the hardest category for me because I don't watch a ton of musicals. Like I, I'm just not into that scene as much. So it was really hard for me to kind of think of a book that I think would work well as a musical, but I ended up landing on A Brew de Binomi Novik. I think, especially with the way that the magic is in here, it's this very like organic kind of magic and I think that could work well with like a musical background to it. And I also think that the way that the relationships are shown in this book with a play I think would work really well and with like songs I think could work really well. And especially like singing while doing magic could work really well. So especially because this is like a Beauty and the Beast, it's not a retelling, but it has Beauty and the Beast elements. I think that's why I kind of pinged to this one because it, that kind of flavor of like the Beauty and the Beast musical could work really well with this. And just like even what the villain is and the setting and like there's a woods, all of that could work really well in like a play musical version. So that is it for my book adaptation wish list. Comment down below and let me know some of the things that you would like to be adapted into different things. I know it's probably going to mostly be movies and TV shows because those are my favorites as well, but I'm especially interested to see what you guys would think for like plays, like what books make really good plays or like musicals because I have a hard time with that. I'm going to be tagging Kayla from Book of Doodles, Sarah Jane from The Book Life, and Max from Well Done Books. I'm not sure who's done this, but if they haven't done this, then I'm going to tag them. So thank you all for watching and I'll see all of you guys soon. Bye.